Okay, so that means we just now need to find the collectible. I believe this collectible is actually going to be um, on the side mission in this area. Where we get lost. Valentin. We found all Max Hoss's toys for him, which is really nice of us to do. Went out of our way. Let's see if we can talk to Fergus. Doesn't look like he's in here, actually. Unlucky. Oh, we do want to go have a nightmare, though. Because we actually beat the nightmare uh, last time we went in. For the first time. Borrowed welder Fergus. Fergus. Welder. Okay. So we do need to find what Fergus at some point. You only need one. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Alright. Nightmare time. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch to dual wield pistols. We'll make everything significantly easier. Uh, and we're going to be using the same strategy where we bait them into the door. Uh, in order to avoid taking as much damage as we can. They should come in one, one by one or two by two. You can hear their footsteps as they're approaching, which helps as well. Should be all of them right there. There's nothing behind this door. There could be a secret door here, though, so we're gonna check. Nope. Took a little more damage there than I would have liked. There is a secret door right here. I think it's these paintings are always indicative of a secret secret entrance. And this is how we get the assault rifle this, for this area. Wow, 4K resolution. That's right. <laughs> we only kill Nazis in 4K. So I don't believe there's any... Actually, I think I think the correct way to go is that way. I don't remember. I think that's the way we went last time. Gotta make sure we reload before we go in there. I like these levels. Wish the whole game was like this. Not the pigs! Um, yeah, actually, in this game, there's only this specific level. Um, in the newer game, the Old Blood, there's many, many more of these. But they're a lot easier. They're a lot easier than in the new game. Or the, the prequel, I should say. You need to be really careful! We died! Oh, I thought we had our assault rifle as our secondary, and when we switched weapons to it, it was just our knife, and they murdered us from behind. That's okay, we've actually already beaten that, so now the only reason we go in there to, is to explore and look for new items. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Alright, let's flush the toilet as any proper person would. This is turning into some kind of compulsive behavior. It's the ring! Hell yeah! We can never find that in our last playthrough. And she left it in the in the bucket next to the toilet. What a dummy. Alright, let's go give it back to her. Hello. Here is your ring. I know. I'm the greatest. 
you found discovered wait did we just grab that oh maybe we get the vase from completing that quest either that or it was right there and i just accidentally grabbed it i don't know if you guys were watching that i'm not really sure which one that was i think she probably just gave it to us all right let's go get the welder but cool now we found the collectible as well so it means we've completed everything we need to do for this this uh level Where are you, Fergus? You're looking at me for answers, are you? <clears throat> it's Tekla. You ape. You Great ape. Answers of importance. Meaningful answers. From the quest? Okay. That's what I thought. You would like. Most of it would make you want to see that and surrender. I really like the dialogue with her. A pit in your stomach. Most of which would break your heart. You should find your answers elsewhere. <laughs> all right. Looks like that's all she's willing to say. What do you want, Vasquez? Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. We're not on the Wait best of terms you're yet. You're right. You're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. He's still a bit mad that we killed the Wyatt instead of him. At the moment, but you want the welder? You go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. He somehow dropped the welder underwater behind a sealed door that we have to cut through with with our uh, very specialized equipment. Bombete. Sorry, pal. Don't I think that's his name is Bombete. You really, your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Uh, please, what I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> He's so crazy in a delightful way. Do you think that when Jay seen what I have? Your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already, and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changing. No matter who you are, what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind, make it through to the other side, and kill all the Nazis. <laughs> and kill <laughs> all the Nazis. <laughs> and kill all, all the pigs. That time come. You're on. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, you know what, I never noticed these, but they have a bunch of assault rifles sticking through the door. That's uh, strategically good. That would help. Okay. So the welder is going to be right in here. You can see it down there. Uh, but we're going to jump in here just in case there's some... Some goodies that we want first. Ah, why can I not swim? There we go. All right, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. It's funny, we're like seven feet tall, but we can't jump back straight up where we came out. Like, it's like, <laughs> a three foot gap. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Let's, uh, try and find stuff. And also get out of here in the process. Oh, the other cool thing about this area is we're underneath the center of operations for the Nazi government. So we get to hear them all gossiping about their, their work. Which is kind of neat. But now that we know there's nothing else to find, we can kind of just run through this area. Because you know there's no lore, nothing like that. Oh, I forgot we had this gun. Let's uh, let's keep this out instead of our knife. Wait, I forget where we're supposed to go. Oh yes.
Wait. Okay. Right there. Oh, by the way, Jasper, if you're still in chat, remember that, that spot that you said we should jump down? That we jumped down and we died on the last playthrough? Well, turns out, if you jump down from the opposite angle, there actually is loot down there. And it's one of the only collectibles that we missed on that, on that level. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious, actually. Oh, nice! An upgrade. Oh, this stuns enemies that are right in front of us. Cool. It flashes really brightly, and then they can't move. Already found the collectible in here. Oh, let's go ahead and recharge though while we're here. Because there is kind of a, sort of a boss fight up here. Stock up completely on uh, armor. And then we're going to want to shoot all of these down before, before we do the boss fight. Because it gives us the ability to recharge while we're fighting them. It's not that hard of a boss, but it's also not the easiest either. If we're not careful, because they do a very large amount of damage. So we're going to want to use these big giant blocks as not only cover. Wow. I feel like that did a lot more damage than it should have. Okay. I'll take it. Maybe it's because it was from behind. <laughs> okay, lesson learned. Don't get close to the robots. <laughs> Hard work, right? <laughs> so I think we're just going to strictly use this for now and then. Chi Chi just grabbed us and murdered us. So yeah, they, they fall out of this thing, and I think there's one other one. Yeah, and maybe come to that. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But so yeah, we're going to try and get that same sneak up on them, but we're going to try and do both of them. GG is right. Recharge! Okay, so it, it turns out this is much better at killing them than the actual weapons that they, they're they holding. <laughs> so remember that for the future. This thing just slaughters them. <laughs> What's kind of interesting is these are out, outdated weaponry. The things they're holding, they're no longer the giant machine guns that they actually use. And so... These are kind of, it seems like these are kind of like remnants of security that are left over from earlier on in the war before they upgraded all the technology. Oh shit, I forgot the, I forgot this closes. Doors always close behind you. Officer, officer. A neighbor. Oh yeah, this is awful. They kill anyone who steps outside of societal norms. Oh, this one doesn't bust these open. See the new weapons? Uh, the new giant guns, they... 
will they're also lasers and so they'll puncture through those Is there nothing in here? Maybe the, oh, that's where the collectible was, I think. Yeah. I think that's right. Maybe not. Oh no, we have to open the chain to the door. There it is. We're gonna continue to bring our giant machine gun with us, just in case. So yeah, we're currently underneath the largest Nazi um, base in the entire world, right in the center of Berlin. And so that's how we were able to hear all that gossip, which is kind of cool. And now we're coming out right in our Only archives. And they make us drop our giant gun. You go get it, Fergus. <laughs> and it just falls behind the cabinet, never again to be seen. Headquarters! That's right, HQ. Hey, buddy. She's still eating our food. Pontos. If you're gonna eat it, eat it. It's still like the same level build. All right. If we're going to steal a Nazi U-boat, I need set to repair that thing on the table. There's the welder. Oh, That's all I need. Or actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. I sure like can. I'm a goddamn errand boy. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's, he's sitting like right over here. <laughs> he could have given it to himself. William. William! Do you have a moment? Oh, they're so sweet together. They love each other. It will happen, William. Listen to my voice, Blaskovic. There you are now, inside sewage tunnels. The intestinal right. tracks of the city. Back to Each war. Below, the Berlin Canticles. The vast complex. The most secure site in all Berlin. The central munition stockpile of the Nazi regime. The things we could do for those weapons. Max Voss is so strong. It's crazy. This access route is water locked. Impenetrable to outsiders. There's only one way to breach across the perimeter. It's a tunnel glider. The Nazis use them for maintenance down there. We've been trying for years to bring it up to working order. This is also when we're going to start getting um, these. These recordings from Anya. Although it looks like we've already have them, so we may not receive them this time. Oh shoot, I don't think we slept in the bed when we went down there this time. We also don't have almost any Enigma codes from this level, so we're going to be trying to find all of these, because I think we've found almost all of them so far. Yeah. Chapter 10, which I think this is this is chapter 10. This is the only one we haven't grabbed all of them so far, so we're going to try and do that. The first phase of the plan to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the burning catacombs. It's because we don't have the map to this area. I think that's why we haven't found them all. We're gonna keep your position over the transponder and provide a keen eye point. out. Good luck, Sir Blaskovich. While we're down here. William, can you hear me? You have to make your way all the way through the sewer tunnels and into the Berlin catacombs. <laughs> I'll try to guide you through. I really like the um kind of how this Le this level kind of disorients you because you can turn completely around if you want and just swim upside down just like you could you would if you 
we're actually underwater. However, it does seem like it auto-corrects just a little bit for you. To prevent it from being too disorienting. But it reminds me of, uh, of Prey. The game that came out earlier this year. Um, when you're in space, it's kind of the same deal. You really, it can be very disorienting. Got our laser craft work out. I was a kid, and the red tide was rising. Went in the water on account of disobeying father. Felt like my skin was on fire. We also start to get some flashbacks from from BJ, which is pretty cool. You are right underneath the Eisenwald prison now. Caroline told me. A few inmates tried to escape through the sewer system with some valuables a few years ago. They didn't make it very far. So that's the hint they're dropping that there are valuables in here, that there's collectibles that we can find. And we only found one of them. There's gotta be a lot more. The problem is these are really hard to find. Even if you do have a map, sometimes they don't show up on the map. And so it can be really rough to find some of them. Whew. That made me a bit dizzy. We're going to look down here for goods first before we continue with the tunnel glider. And once we check this area for, for loot, then we'll turn around, swim through that little area, and then unlock it. Wow, look at this old statue. It's kind of cool. They built right over some some sort of uh, old infrastructure. Came out covered in leeches. Nice. Oh, we almost got squashed by this giant piece of metal. Crazy, filthy leeches. We need to be really careful how long we stay outside of this glider, because we will drown after a short period of time. Well, it's not short. It's pretty long, actually. BJ can hold his breath for a while. But... William, I have something I want to tell you. I've been reading this diary my grandmother gave me. It's my cousin Ramona's diary. She used to work with us at the asylum. She's dead now, but she had many secrets inside of her. And there was no one she could trust to keep them. Ooh, that looks like treasure. So she wrote them all down. I will radio the diary entries to your audio lock. Ah, you damn it. Kind of looked like a statue was in there, but I don't... It, there's not actually one. <laughs> a movie clip! So yeah, this is when we start learning about her aunt, who was real crazy. She killed hundreds of Nazis by, like, seducing, st seducing them and stuff. Like, all kinds of different ways. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how successful we're gonna be about finding all the treasure that we missed last time. Even the Enigma pieces seem hard in here because there's just no map to tell us where everything was. It was a bit difficult to actually find all of the hidden areas. Very difficult, actually. But some of the stuff they hide in this game is crazy. Like there's a couple, there's been a couple places that if they hadn't showed up on the map where the secret entrance was, um, I would have never. I mean, I could have played this game a hundred times and I would have never figured out how to get in there. <laughs> 